Table here. Today I want to narrate a sequence for you guys from a strategic standpoint. So jumping into it, we're on the map trap. I've moved into B, as has an enemy destroyer. He's on the other side of this island. So our goals for domination mode are to, number one, capture the base that we're playing. Number two, stalemate it, i.e. contest it. And number three, uh, if those fail, then we want to slow down the capture, maybe be moving off of the base uh, and then shooting them periodically to reset their capture or whatever, in inflict uh, cost to the enemy team to capture the base. Ma's getting rushed by R. Benson, though. He's crossed over from A. He's not playing his spawn cap. I don't recommend that, but here we are. Uh, but the Ma's moving here. Now, he doesn't know we're here, uh, I don't believe. Uh, he probably knows we're on the cap somewhere, but he doesn't know exactly where we are. Uh, we're moving back with him. He's going to recognize the dangers and begins to pop the smoke. We have a very strong sonar here, though, and that's going to prevent him from uh, getting out of here. So he recognizes he's about to die. He's going to try and move forward to the Benson for one reason or another. We do have a sonar active, so we should be able to pick up any torpedoes early, but we do need to be aware of that. And now we're going to try and use the smoke uh, from, you know, as long as we can because it's an offensive tool. But while we're doing this, we need to be evaluating the game, right? We've now won the B cap, and then we need to say, okay, what's the situation on A? Uh, we got a battleship. We got a trio of battleships there. They're getting rushed by a Pablo Emilio. Uh, that could go south pretty quickly. Um, but it's a stronger uh, side, right? And if you include the ships on B, we outnumber them uh, probably about seven to two or three at the moment. So very strong domination mode there, or domination of the game there. Uh, C, on the other hand, the opposite, right? They have four, five, six ships versus two uh, destroyers parked right next to a cruiser. He's not going to last long. And we got a battleship in the a line who's now returning towards the rest of the team so c uh functionally we have no control over that side whatsoever uh so i gotta say to myself okay we've captured b check uh we did that step now what do we do we can either go into c try and assist slash fight them off i don't have torpedoes i don't have a smoke i don't have a spotter i'm not gonna be able to do anything over there or going to a we have two destroyers who are presumably making our team wary or preventing them from capturing a and there's another battleship there. We don't care about the battleship on the back line, the uh, 10 line. So we don't really factor him in except for the fact that he can somewhat uh, support. So we make the choice to come over here. We want to kill the destroyers, free up the ability to get A. Then we'll control A and B. That's the objective. Uh, Red making a huge mistake. They're not actually capturing C, which they have uh, under their control. You do need to convert the base or you're kind of conceding uh, often the game, but certainly a huge advantage that you fought for. And this is a game that you need to capture territory, and the game represents that by capturing the bases. So don't ignore that aspect of the game or you're going to be uh, losing a lot of games. Anyways, from my perspective here, I want to get those destroyers. I want to free that up. But what we need to be always saying to ourselves is, wow, we are three or four squares away from these guys. Uh, what is the cost on that? And I think we left the cap at about 10.30, if I remember, and it's going to be at least another minute until we get there. So it doesn't sound like we're about two, three minutes, but that's a huge, you know, 20% of the game if it's a three-minute tra travel time. So you always need to be understanding when I'm going to move from a given position to another one, and often you will have to do so, but you need to make sure that what you're going to be doing is valuable enough to take up the travel time, right, the transit time, because I'm not doing anything right now. I'm just sailing around, potentially spotting, but other than that, we're not really doing much at all. So understand the costs of transit, right? That's a huge part of this. Uh, but getting into the sequence here now, we got the black sighted, and we're going to proceed to gun him down. You can see the Pablo behind him quite low. And this is going to be the turning point of this match here. Uh, black, we knocked the torps, we knocked the uh, engine, whatever. Looks like he just turned there probably to launch. Uh, we do need to be aware of that, but bigger problems behind us. The Nelson, big booming HE threat there. Uh, and as soon as, you know, you need to realize this thing can one-shot us, especially from relatively close range. So we don't have an option. We just got to gun it here and hope that uh, any torpedo threat is either non-existent or maybe we can dodge it. But unfortunately, torps pop right up by us here. Uh, we are going to eat one, which is going to take a bunch of health. You can see the Nelson is shooting at us here. But at this point, if we can trade uh, this destroyer for their destroyer, then we'll be able to get A. We'll have B. Uh, we can win this side and then defend B, which is what we do. We wind up winning by about 700 points for a convincing win. 